Hey y'all, welcome to Lions Den Tarot. My name is Camille and I'm doing a daily tarot for all signs. And that is every sign in the zodiac for March 25th, 2022. Now y'all keep in mind, time is fluid. So if it fails to resonate with you for March 25th, it still may resonate in the future. And y'all already know, I'm a big believer in everything happens for a reason. So if you're here and you're watching this, it could be something you need to hear, okay? Keep your mind and your heart open. We're going to start with the Work Your Life Oracle deck. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and the moon round. What do we need to hear for March 25th, 2022? Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. Akasha. All right. Angel Oracle deck. Thank you, spirits. Thank you, the moon ancestors. What else do we need to hear? March 25th, 2022. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you all had a beautiful and blessed day. I need to post that picture of the sun on Alliance Den Tarot. All right, and the Angel Oracle deck is adding recovery. Recovery. All right, and then we've got the Ancestor Spirit Oracle deck. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and the moon. Wow, what else do we need to hear? March 25th, 2022. What else do we need to hear? All right, so we're adding to the reading from the Ancestor Spirit Oracle deck. Connect with past loved ones. Dia de los Muertos. Connect with past loved ones. All right, then we got the Spirit of Nature Oracle deck. Thank you, Spirit Gods. What green man's wisdom do we need to hear today? For March 25th, 2022. All right. So the green man's wisdom, ancestors, the spirit of nature oracle deck is adding willow. Willow. All right. And now let's pull some affirmators tarot. Get some tarot going. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and the moon world. What else do we need to hear? March 25th, 2022. Well, we got the nine of wands just jumped out. Okay. You're going to trip over a hurdle. It is quite all right. You will get up and continue to walk. Run towards that finish line. What? You know what? Because it jumped out like that, we're going to take it. And that is the hair pond. Okay. It like literally jumped out and jumped on top of my hand. I had to take it. All right. I should have took that one too, huh? Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and sisters in the world. What else do we need to hear? I was moving a little too fast for that one. Jump out. So we got the Nine of Wands, which is the fire energy, and then the hair fine. All right. Thank you, Spirit Guides. What else do we need to hear? All right. So we are also adding to the reading Nine of Pentacles. Money, money, money. That's why the other one wasn't supposed to come out because you were supposed to know that once you trip over that hurdle, it's okay. You get your shit in line, get your discipline going, and... That money's coming to you. Let's get into it. Akasha. Transmission card. Akasha exists in the fifth dimension in the library of souls. All soul contracts, history, gifts, lessons, and more exist here. We each have access to this information of the past, present, and future and can tap into it at any time. While we have free will, there are also points of the timeline of our lives that are predestined or pre-planned. Soul contracts are agreements that were made before incarnating. It could be a company you chose to work for, a relationship you plan to have, or a person you agreed to mentor or help. Whatever it is, know that it is divinely guided and will not bypass you. If you are waiting for a sign to proceed, this card is it. You are likely living out an important part of your soul's journey and you are exactly where you need to be. This is very exciting indeed. It is time to call in the support of your helpers, both in the physical realm and the spiritual realm. 
to trust the signs coming, to take note of your dreams, to notice any feelings or visions that you receive, for you are tapping into the wisdom of the Akasha and you are being given the go-ahead to proceed. Yes. I open myself up to receive the wisdom of the Akasha. I am ready to download any information from my soul records that is in the highest good and the highest good of all right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Then we got recovery. You or someone's going to be recovering. I know for me, I'm about to be recovering because my stomach ain't been acting right. But it's okay, y'all. Got my sea moss gel I made. I made my own sea moss gel. And I... I'm taking my chlorophyll and everything else, honey. And I ate me some greens. Ooh, ooh, see, it's coming. Ate me some greens, too. It's about to flush out. <laughs> this is a period of recovery and healing for you. Or it could be about my platelets as well. The challenging emotions that you've been dealing with will fade away with time. Oh, that is probably really what it's about. Although it may be difficult to see now, there is a joyful future awaiting you. But for now, take all the time you need to regain your strength. This card can also mean that your recovery is nearly finished or already complete. Send words of gratitude to heaven and begin planning for the next exciting phase of your life. All right. And connect with past loved ones. The Aztecs had a complex cosmology and a ritual calendar dedicated to their many deities. They held a strong belief in an afterlife and thought the way they died determined whether they would go up in the spirit to the sun god or down to the dark underworld. The underworld was ruled by the god and goddess of Mictlalcoatl and Mictahahuatl. As a guardian of the afterlife, Mictahahuatl oversaw festivals of the dead. Over time, her traditions evolved into Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead, which in the modern day Mexico is celebrated on the first and second days of November. During Dia de los Muertos, the gates of the underworld open and spirits are allowed to reunite with their families. The living and the dead reconnect with family feasts, dancing, and celebrations. It is believed that keeping their deceased loved ones happy will bring good luck, wisdom, direction, love, and protection from the living family. The ancestors speak. Pay attention to what you feel around you, as well as your five key physical senses. You have a sixth sense that connects you to the spiritual world. This card indicates that your sixth sense is strong. Your ancestors or loved ones in spirit are trying to get your attention. They are sending you signs that they are with you and love you very much. Watch for their signals and be open to connecting with them. The divinatory meaning. Learn how to connect with your loved ones in spirit so they can bring guidance, confirmation, and encouragement in times of stress or trouble. You may sense your past loved ones when the hair on your arms rise or when you feel heat or cold in and around your body. You may also experience sensation in your stomach. Ooh, I was just feeling that. Or a heightened need to be on alert. When this occurs, take a moment to ground, breathe deeply, clear your mind, and allow guidance to arise in your heart, mind, or feelings. All right. And then we've got Willow. Let's see what Green Man's wisdom is in with Willow. All right, the green man's wisdom. From harmony comes inspiration. Everyone needs harmony in their lives. For without it, we become fragmented, pulled apart by conflicting tides of daily living. Harmony directs us towards flow, which in turn produces a sense of greater vitality and a deeper sense of connection with the rest of the world. From, the, from this comes inspiration. The message of Willow and of the green man is clear. From harmony comes inspiration. The omen of the druids and bards, a source of human fulfillment. The search for inspiration is in an age-old one and belongs not only to those with an artistic bent, but to everyone who desires to inspirit their lives in a more positive way. So whether you are seeking inspiration from a piece of crafted work, a new and more harmonious direction in your life, or a more inspired approach to your business, this card reminds you that things are always available to you and that to access them is to widen your horizons and to be transformed. All right, from harmony comes inspiration. And then we've got the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. When we, 
We open up on runners in slow-mo. The chariots of fire theme playing in the background. The finish line in sight. Then someone face plants on a hurdle. Someone else tumbles and a pile of runners ensue. Sound familiar? You may be close to reaching a major or minor goal right now, only to find you've been tripped up by one of life's more annoying tests of character. Fear not. Fiery chariot, you can still accomplish everything you wanted to. You just have to get over this final hurdle. Stay focused, dust yourself off, and do what you need to do to cross that finish line, like climb over a bunch of bodies and a broken hurdle. Here's the affirmation. I've got this. I can do this. I will finish this. And then I can complain as much as I want. Ah! And then we've got the five hair in front, Major Arcana. This orderly fellow has arrived to lay down the law, pin up the rules, and probably lecture you about his color-coded chore wheel. But before you go screaming, you're not the boss of me, and run out the door, get honest for a sec and see if you could actually benefit from a little more discipline. This card may be echoing some sort of literal structured hierarchy in your life like school, military, brand new job with shiny new cubicle, or just be a friendly reminder to listen to your elders and get your shit together. Whatever the case, those dishes aren't going to do themselves. So yeah, here's the affirmation. I aspire to be the best I can be. Right now, that means order over chaos, wisdom over brain garbage, and working over shirking, okay? And then we've got nine of pentacles, that money. If that's what you want, you got to put in that work. Earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn. This bell of the prosperity ball has invited you to the party of the year, and the theme is relief. No matter what monetary challenges you've come through, she's telling you the other side is here or near. Please take a moment to cheer or sigh, or light a few crates of fireworks. The next part of your story is all about a stable home life and financial independence, not to mention the freedom, confidence, and potential that are sure to come trotting along behind. Reflect on the hard work that's gotten you here and indulge in a splurge of sorts. How much do helipads cost? Here's the affirmation. I finally trade my surviving or thriving and put the dance in abundance. Now, excuse me while I jump up and down and joy scream for a few hours, okay? And now, you guys, let's just go ahead and get into this reading. We can tap in, and I'm going to tell y'all today on my way um, to work, like, so many thoughts come to me. So, when I pull Akasha today, I know that is definitely for me because I was going to create a video earlier today to talk about how we need to be thankful for one second of life because we fail to realize we keep thinking oh i got tomorrow oh, i have time i have time you guys time is an illusion you have to be mindful that each second is precious okay and you've got to tap into the universe to get knowledge to really gain knowledge because we only learn what we were taught a lot of us have not even tapped into who we truly are. And so when I see Akasha, it's like, yes, it is time to connect with our past loved ones. And I'm not talking about people who just died. I'm not talking about your current or your close-knit family. I'm talking about your ancestors. Your ancestors from hundreds of thousands of years ago. You guys, we are not the new beings. This is the current era, okay? And we have got to realize that there are ancestors that we have from the era from before the current era, which they want you to think is before Christ, but no, it's the current era. And I'm talking about ancestors before Egypt. Okay, I'm talking about ancestors that are in the middle of the earth. Okay, y'all better know that the earth is definitely able to be penetrated, right? Y'all know we can dig. Okay, y'all know y'all they digging in the ocean, right? Just be mindful of what you're capable of doing and the power that you have. Tap into who you are. It is time to unleash your power, okay? Get your shit together and get it in order. Thanks for coming to Lions and Tarot. Y'all make sure to follow me on Instagram. It's lions underscore den underscore tarot. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Camille in the Lions Den. If you would like a personal reading with me, the information is in the comments below. Thank you so much for your energy and it's time to build. Let's grow.